Hi my loves, welcome to the mat and welcome to this online practice. So if you are new here, welcome. My name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch and thank you for allowing me to guide you through today's power yoga flow. So in today's flow, we're going to get the energy moving, really kind of rid ourselves of any toxins, any kind of thing that has been holding us back, intrusive thoughts, worries, all that jazz that we do not want in our sacred space and just kind of flow for a little bit of fun for the next 20 minutes. So you can grab anything that you you might need to make your practice a bit more supportive, maybe a block, bolster, grab yourself a cup of coffee if you're feeling good. And when you're ready, I'll meet you back here in just a moment so we can flow to find our power. Okay, my darling, so to begin today's practice, you're gonna move straight away into a downward facing dog. So first coming into an all fours position, spread the fingers, point in the middle finger all the way to the top of the mat, tuck the toes under, curve into the shoulders, and let's meet in our downward facing dog. Giving those legs a little bit of a wiggle, bending one knee, bending another, nodding the head yes, shaking it no anything at all that feels good to you. Beautiful. I'm just getting comfortable in our downward facing dog. And you can stay just pedaling out those legs or you can move a little bit further with me by bringing the legs to touch, bending the knees to the left hand side, hips come to the right for three, for two, and for one, move through centre, knees over to the right hand side, hip bones over to the left for three, for two. And for one, bring the body into the centre. So today, we're going to work through just three rounds of our moon salutations. So looking at our lunges, looking at a little bit of movement, trying to find some fluidity between the movements. <sighs> trying to find a little bit of kind of magic in each asana we take. So when you're ready, we bring the big toes to touch. On your inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. Exhale to draw this knee to the chest, step between the thumbs, low lunge or high lunge. This is your choice, but we sweep those arms all the way to the sky, bending into that front knee, inhale. Exhale, hands frame the front foot, step back to down dog. Sweep left leg to the sky and then immediately step it between the thumbs. Find your way to your chosen lunge. Inhale. On your exhale this time, we step it back to plank and take our vinyasa. Inhale, find upward facing dog. Exhale, hip bones to the sky. Downward facing dog. And then we keep it going, big toes to touch. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, step between the thumbs, find your way into your chosen lunge. Rhyming, and I don't mean to, <laughs> inhale. Exhale, hands frame the front foot, step back to down dog and immediately sweep left leg to the sky. Before bending that knee, step it between the thumbs, sweep those arms up and overhead. Inhale. Exhale, hands frame the front foot, step it back to your plank and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, hip bones to the sky. Downward facing, <laughs> can't even talk. Downward facing dog. One more round, bring the big toes to touch, sweep right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, step between the thumbs into your lunge. Beautiful hands, frame front foot, step back to down dog. Sweep left leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest. Step between the thumbs, sweep those arms up and overhead. Before hands frame the front foot, step it back to plank and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. On your exhale, move it into tabletop here straight away let's take some cat cow stretches inhaling to drop that chest arch the spine exhale to curve into the shoulders push the ceiling away 
looking beautiful. And if you want to add that wrist stretch in, you're more than welcome to walk the fingertips round. Bring in the inner wrist to face towards the top of the mat. Keep taking your movements. Yes. And then when you're ready, hands to the mat. We're going to tuck those toes under, bring the knees to touch and find our way into a little bit of a tippy toe stretch here. Interlock the fingers behind the back and pop this chest open. A beautiful deep stretch. Remember, throughout any flow you take, vinyasa or even power, we want to search for strength and mobility. So squeeze the shoulder blades together, but keep length through the crown of the head. Toes are starting to ache. Three more breaths. Inhale. For two. And for one, release the hands back to the mat. Lift the hip bones to the sky, downward facing dog. Bring the big toes to touch and we sweep that left leg to the sky. Come as far on to the tippy toes of the left foot as you can go. Holding this stretch for three, for two. On your one, send that right leg out to the side. Yes, holding here for three, for two. And for one, draw that knee to the chest. Beautiful. Step between the thumbs. Inhale to find your way to high lunge. On your exhale, press off the back tippy toes. Send those hands forward. Keep the ears between the triceps. We're going to hold for three. For two. On your one, press off the front foot. Pivot on the back foot, warrior two. Yes, to this movement. Before hands come to heart centre, we extend that front leg, bring that back heel in, maybe a centimetre, and start to sit low to Skandasana, yes. As low as you can go, hands can come to them at any point. But we hold here for three. We hold for two. And for one, lift that back leg up. Find your way back into warrior two, inhale. Exhale, find your way to side angle, right elbow, right knee. Pull the left arm up and overhead here. <sighs> Binding our way into a balance. We're gonna bend a little bit deeper into this front knee, right hand comes to the mat. I'm gonna lift to half moon pose here. So stepping in to your balance. Stacking one hip on top of the other. Oh, it's a hard transition. So take as long as you need to align those hips and lift the left hand all the way to the sky. If you're feeling good, gaze can follow the fingertips. <laughs> holding three, holding two. Yes, one, release left hand down, left foot meets the right and we forward fold, taking hold of the big toes and bending at the elbows. Inhale, gaze forward my darlings. Exhale, bend the knees, Ukatasana, sit nice and low. Yes, it's like we want to bring those thighs to a 45 degree angle with the mat. Mental, I know, but we're going to sit low. Hold it for three, for two, and one. Beautiful, beautiful forward fold. Inhale to gaze forwards. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to plank, take your vinyasa. Inhale, find upward facing dog. Exhale, meet me back in your downward facing dog. Before we bring the big toes to touch, let's balance up the body. Inhale, we sweep left leg to the sky, move as far on to the right tippy toes as you can go. Inhale. Exhale, send that leg to the sky, but um, to the side, sorry, but keep that down dog holding three, holding two, and one. Beautiful movements, draw the knee to the chest, step between the thumbs. 
inhale first we find our way into our high lunge Ooh, spicy. bending into that front knee and then shift the hands forward ears between the triceps holding for three holding two one roll the body into warrior two yes inhale exhale extend the front leg back heel comes in a centimeter and we sit low to skandhasana Ooh. testing that ankle mobility testing the hamstrings skandhasana has never been an easy pose for me I struggle every time but we're doing it together holding for three yes holding for two and for one bend back into that front knee briefly come into warrior two before left elbow left knee right arm up and overhead open up that side body when you're ready from here we're going to bend a little bit deeper into that left leg transition our way into half moon flexing that back foot pulling the right arm to the sky option to keep the gaze down option whoop, to take the gaze all the way up to the sky following the fingertips for three you got it for two for one relax right hand down and we forward fold option to find ragdoll option to find the big toes bend at the elbows and release the body down inhale we lift the gaze Exhale, Ukatasana, sit nice and low, as low as you can go, my darlings. Hold three, hold two, and one. Forward fold, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, recognizing that I sing every time I do a power flow because my body goes into shock. We take a vinyasa. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, meet me back in a hero's pose. Option, tuck the toes under. Option, to just sit back onto the heels. But open up the chest, start to take some breath. So I love to come into a hero's pose rather than a child's pose in power yoga, just because I like the space my lung has in, or my lungs have in a hero's pose in comparison to a child's pose. I know that's silly, that's not anatomically correct, but it's just how my mind works. So you can come into a child's pose. You can stay here with me. We've got one more round to go. We have got this. Get it back in control of the breath. Every inhale, every exhale, you've got it. Before all together, we inhale and we exhale. Blink those eyes open, final round, my darlings. Embrace the heat, embrace this fight in your belly. Remember, we are truly making some magic on the mat today. We've come together as Collective Coven. We have got this. Power flows are never easy. When you're ready, hands to the mat. Meet me in downward facing dog. Bring the big toes to touch, taking a little bit of movement here. We inhale to sweep the right leg to the sky. Exhale to send it out to the side. Inhale, sweep it back to the sky. Exhale, bring it to the side. Beautiful, three more times to the sky. To the side. To the sky. Yes, to the side. Beautiful, one more time. Take it all the way to the sky. And then bring it to the side. Keep it lifted for three for two, for 
for one, draw the knee to the chest, step between the thumbs. This time we're going to find our way into that gorgeous, I think it's called a seagull pose, but I might have made that up. Pressing on the back tippy toes, lift those hands up, ears between the triceps, holding for three, holding two. This time on your one, hands come to heart centre, we pivot that back foot and lift the front foot immediately sitting low into Skandasana here. Oh, it's a hard pose, keep the chest lifted. Yes. Oh, I can't do it, holding for three. For two. For one, bend back into the front knee, take as much movement as you like, meet me in warrior two. Inhale, exhale, immediately bend deep into that front knee, right hand floats in front of the right foot, lift to half moon here, stacking one hip on top of the other and pulling the left hand all the way to the sky. Holding for three, Holding two, and one. Release the left foot next to the right, and Ukatasana, sit low. Hold three, hold two, and one. Hands to the mat. <laughs> Inhale, gaze forward, yes. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to blank. Second to last, Vinyasa. Inhale, find upward facing dog. Exhale, whew, hip bones to the sky. Final flow, we have got it coven. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it to the side. Inhale to the sky. Exhale to the side. Beautiful, three more times to the sky. Yes, to the side. To the sky to the side one more time bring it all the way to the sky and then bring it to the side hold three hold two and one draw the knee to the chest step between the thumbs yes take as much momentum as you want lift that chest ears between the triceps hold here front leg is bloody shaking for three two one hands heart center pivot on that back foot Bend into that back knee, find your way to Skandasana, yes. Yes. Holding three. Hold two, beautiful. And one. I'm using my hands this time. Oh, help lift the body into warrior two before we find our way straight away to half moon. Bend deep into that front knee. Kick the right leg up. Stacking one hip on top of the other. Yes. Inhale. Yes. Exhale. Release right foot to the left. Ukatasana. Sit a centimetre lower than you did before. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands to the mat. Inhale. We gaze forward. Exhale, plant the hands down, step it back to plank. Final vinyasa, lower the body down. Inhale, we find upward facing dog. This time, exhale, sink back to child's pose, just to stretch out those hips a little bit. Give yourself a wiggle, relax the forehead down, and roll the forehead from left to right. Beautiful. Before we press the hands to the mat, roll to tabletop, cross the ankles behind us, and send those legs forward. Yes. Crossing the ankles to come into a seated position. We inhale, reach the arms high to the sky. Exhale, twist to the left hand side. Inhale, reach those arms high. 
Exhale, twist over to the right hand side. Beautiful movements. Inhale, we reach those arms high. Exhale, bring the knees to touch, extend the legs here and soften those knees as much as you need to find the outside of the feet. Relax the head down and forward fold. On your inhale, we gaze at those tippy toes. Exhale to roll the body up. Slide hips to heels, hug the knees to the chest and roll back into the mat, giving the body a little wiggle from side to side, maybe making a fist and taking a few wrist rolls in one direction. Taking them in another. Before we give ourselves a nourishing full body stretch here, pointing those fingers, pointing those toes, pulling the belly button in and up the ribs. And then either coming to lie down in your Shavasana, either coming to sit up, whatever feels good to you. We're just going to give ourselves a few moments here just to relax into the mat, to let go, to allow that fire to just kind of burn away, feeling the embers of our power in our belly, in our hearts, in our souls. Allowing those exhales to naturally become longer than the exhales, bringing in a sense of peace into the mind and into the body. 20 minutes, that's all it takes to boost our vibrations, to boost our energy levels and just kind of come together as a collective coven, knowing we're never alone. There's power in numbers. And as always, if you need longer in your Shavasana, then you take it. This is your practice, my darlings. If you're ready to come out, you can follow me by bringing some movement to the fingers, to the toes. Maybe, excuse me, giving yourself one final full body stretch before rolling all the way to one side of our mat and slowly lifting ourselves in to a comfortable seated position. Bringing the hands to the knees, roll the shoulders away from the ears, blink those eyes open if they're closed and let's just close this class today as a collective coven by bowing chin to chest with gratitude to ourselves, to those who joined us and as always from me to you, thanking you for allowing me to guide you through today's power yoga flow and thanking you so much. If you are new here to the channel, then don't forget I do upload three free flows a week over on my channel so you can subscribe 
uh, on the button on the screen in a minute. And I also have a brand new membership area here on YouTube called the Om Coven, where I give out exclusive flows, two hour long flows a month, some yoga challenges, and we have a beautiful community page over on Facebook, which is exclusive only to the Om Coven. So if that sounds good to you, follow the link in the description box below. But sending all my love, all my healing, and all my magic from my mat to yours, my darlings. And I really hope to see you again on the mat soon. Blessed be.